Hi, I'm Uncle Al, and I'm here to tell you what you didn't learn in school. You may not have gotten from your folks, and I'm very sure that your friendly stand-up comic actually knows this one. Hey, you need three, I said three, tension breakers. Tension breakers? Uncle Al, what do you mean? Well, let me explain. A tension breaker is when you're in one of those situations where everybody's just a little too uptight and you need to bring down the anxiety in the room. That's what a tension breaker does, is it brings the tension down. Here are three great tension breakers. One, the funny face. Funny face? Funny face. <laughs> you walk up to somebody that you know is fairly vulnerable to giggling and you just give them one of these and they'll laugh they'll giggle they might push you away but it will break the tension now remember that's number one number two is a great one-liner and I don't mean a joke one-liner. I mean a one-liner that just makes somebody have to think differently. Now, in an age when I grew up in the 60s and 70s, it usually was uh, want to smoke um, because that was taking someone's ten attention away from what was causing the tension and made them do something different. Nowadays, want a mint, want some gum, can I tie your shoe? Now that's one that will always work because all of a sudden people's brains will have a moment of what? Tie my shoe? <laughs> but it'll break the tension. And the third great way to break the tension is to sit down. Sit down? Yeah, it's kind of an odd thing. Usually you'll see when there's a lot of tension going on now, this could be tension from people sitting around a conference table. But there's a motion. There's a sense of, okay, I'm here for the long haul. Uh, just, uh, what? Uh, you, you can, in a chair, reposition yourself. If people are yelling at each other, it's purely the matter of just sitting down. Even if you're a spectator, you sitting down will lower the tension in the room. So that's three great ways to bring down the tension. One, the funny face. <laughs> Two, the one-liner, remember, it doesn't have to be comedy. And the third way is just to sit down, either physically sit down or figuratively sit down and watch the tension go out of the room. Hey, I'm Uncle Al. I'm here from the Marcus of America's Project where we're trying to put politics back in a narrow lane. We do cool stuff there, and I do more of these Uncle Al videos for more of my Uncle Al wisdom. But until the next time we see you, bye. <laughs>